Good evening. Troubled tennis star Yelena Dokic has spoken for the first time about her new comeback bid. She claims she's finally put her renegade dad behind her, found a new love and matured. Dylan Howard with this exclusive report. These are tentative steps. Not Yelena's first comeback, but the first genuine time outside the clutches of the maddest tennis dad of them all. Yeah, it's a different uh, story. Two years is a long time. Um, it makes a huge difference. And um, it's, uh, I feel like, uh, you know, my tennis and my mind is at a different place than it was. The subject of dad and the family bust up is difficult and not one Yelena wishes to elaborate on. But in this exclusive interview, she offers a rare smile when asked how life is. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Melbourne is her newfound independence. On court, she's the lowest of lows, with a default world ranking of 999. But off the court, she's holding court, living in the inner city with her partner, Tim Bikic. The pair, it's believed, are secretly engaged. He's the same man Demir claim kidnapped his daughter. Where do you call home now? Um, right now it's here. Um, I've been here for, for a couple of months. Um, I really like it. The 24-year-old's training four hours a day and has lost 13 kilos. It was tough at the beginning, but Tennis Australia has been um, really helpful and, um, you know, I've been working very, very hard and, uh, you know, just waiting for the opportunity to play again. Next week, she'll try and win a wild card for the Open. It'll be the one-time Teen Queen's third tilt at career resurrection. This time, she's doing it the hard way. There's no sponsor, no coach, no endorsements. I'm much more focused now and um, you know, um, I've really missed tennis and everything else so um, I'm just looking forward to that. And having distanced herself from the man who last year threatened to bomb Sydney, Yelena must now conquer the world's top women. I would like to uh, get to top 50 by the end of uh, next year. Um, I just have to go out there, do my job and um, you know, I'll be grateful for any support that I get. Dylan Howard, 7 News.